Today's review for you guys is Full Throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This is a premier rides multi-launch coaster. It goes forwards, backwards, and at the time of its opening it featured the world's largest vertical loop. And that loop has quickly become an icon for the park. It's one of the first things you see when you walk in. It's pretty close to the entrance, but also at one point flies up over the Superman pathway. And when it comes back over, it actually goes over the original loop. So it is the only coaster in the world currently to have track on both sides. That spine is split between two sections of track. Now, it's my understanding that you can't have a car on both sides of the track at the same time. That probably put too much stress on it. But there's no denying that it is just cool to look at. And once you're actually on that loop, I mean, the hang time is insane. Probably some of the craziest hang time I've ever experienced. You feel like you're going to go roll back every single time. And I gotta say, overall, this is a really enjoyable coaster. By no means is it a perfect ride. But it is fun, and actually, of all of the roller coasters I rode at Six Flags Magic Mountain over the two days that I was there, this was the coaster I rode the second most. The coaster I rode the most was Twisted Colossus, but this was number two. I feel like I really got a good feel for this coaster. I rode it in the front, middle, back, and I got a night ride. And I think the reason why I chose to ride it more than some of the other coasters there was just because the fun element is legit. This is a fun roller coaster. Now, is the theming great? No, not really. It's kind of got like a modern live life on the edge sort of thing, but it's very sparse. Just about the only theme you're going to get is when you're in the tunnel and when you're in the queue line, there's a giant tent. So yeah, basically there's not much. And then the other thing to note is that when you go to ride this and you're in line, most of the time you're probably not going to be allowed to choose where you're going to sit, which is something I've never been a fan of. I think it is incredibly ridiculous, but if you do ask the ride out politely, Oftentimes, they'll be nice and give you the row that you want. I think you absolutely, though, should try front row and back row. They give very different experiences. But one thing that is neat about this ride is that you do shoot straight out of the station. You accelerate up to 70 miles per hour into this 160-foot-tall loop, currently the largest in North America. And I mean, this is insane. This is the craziest part of the ride. I've never experienced hang time like this before. Every single time I rode this, I thought we were going to get a rollback. That is just how crazy this loop is. So once you fall forwards, you're going to hug the ground, pass over a walkway, and then dive underground and come to a complete stop. And this stop doesn't really seem necessary because the ride, I feel like, still had quite a bit of speed left in it. So I don't like how it abruptly stopped. But it does that so that it can shoot you backwards a bit, which I will say does kind of feel unnecessary. I mean, it's certainly kind of cool. But I don't know if the ride would have been that much better if when it dived under the tunnel, you just went straight into the second launch. I mean, if they did that, then the ride would have felt significantly shorter. So this backwards launch really does lengthen the ride. And some of the general public who have no idea that the backwards launch is even there are going to have a lot of fun with it. So after you do that, you're going to slide back down, accelerate forward, and pass over onto a top hat, and this by far was the biggest disappointment for me. Not the brakes on the final drop, because I knew that was coming. What I was expecting, though, was airtime. On top hats, you always get airtime, and I was expecting some legit airtime over on this top hat, and there was absolutely none. That was a huge disappointment for me. I was expecting to get thrown out of my seat, and I didn't, not even a little bit. And this wasn't just on one ride, this happened every single time. There isn't airtime on the top hat. So I mean, the fact that there's track on both sides is certainly awesome and I think it is so cool. But I mean, that top hat really did feel kind of pointless. It's almost like the top hat was gimmicky than any other part of the ride. If you're going to put in a top hat, make sure it has airtime. And then, I mean, right after that disappointment, of course, that final drop, you go straight into the brake run. If you're in the back row, you're going to start braking before you are even halfway down the drop. So if you're in the front row, you really slam to a stop. But if you're in the back row, I mean, you're going to be thrown up against the seat in front of you. So could the ride be longer? Absolutely. I mean, it's still a fun coaster. Don't get me wrong. I had tons of fun riding this thing. But by no means is it a perfect coaster. That being said, I definitely think it is one of the best roller coasters at Magic Mountain. I'd probably put it in the top three, definitely top five. So for its final score, I'm going to give it an eight. And I feel like that's pretty fair. The main complaints here are the length of the ride, the lack of airtime, and the fact that the ride feels very gimmicky. But there are certainly plenty of pros. I think the launch is awesome. The backwards part is cool. You do get some floater air as you pop back up. 
and the hang time on the loop. I mean, that is just insane. And all of those elements definitely outweigh the bad. So that is why I gave it the score that I did. So let me know what you think of Full Throttle if you agree with this review. Post all those thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, stay tuned for more coast reviews. I have plenty more coming soon. They're all available in a playlist on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.